Okay, it's been more than a year since I bought this electrical skateboard and I think it's a proper time to share an update about this twin performance. All right, let's start with the brand. This is uh, Team GH5 Blade. I bought it in China, but I'm still right now, obviously, right? So I spent like five or four hundred dollars to buy this skateboard. I should not remember for sure how much, but it's still pretty affordable price for an electric skateboard. All right, now a little bit of sad news. Six months after I bought the skateboard, it broke. That was pretty sad. So yeah, it did break, but uh, I sent it back to the shop where I bought it from. That time I still had guarantee it lasted for one year and they fixed it very fast actually. In just uh, four days I already got it back from them and they fixed it for free. All right, now, uh, by the time this thing broke, I had uh, 600 kilometers on my odometer right here on my remote. But after they sent it back, after the repairing, uh, the remote showed zero. And right now, again, I got 1,000, take a look at this, 1,300 kilometers, 1,300 plus 600, which means I've driven 2,000 kilometers on this uh, on this skateboard, which is which is ridiculous. This is pretty long distance, right? You're probably wondering why I'm telling you this uh, interesting story. It's because even after 2,000 kilometers, look at the skateboard. I mean, there are obviously some scratches, but uh, nothing like nothing shakes, nothing loose, nothing like rambles everything is pretty solid and now let me share with you a few things which are kind of disappointing about the skateboard so far all right here we go number one is the battery life i mean it's kind of obvious right if you use a skateboard for more than a year you drive 2000 kilometers the battery will be worse than in the beginning but it dies dramatically fast i mean like super fast and you see there is a problem as well uh, the battery is inbuilt it's inside the the board so it's kind of troublesome to replace it and I think even if I send it back it's not gonna be easy or cheap so not cool tell you what the company who produced this uh, skateboard Team G company they claim that uh, this skateboard mileage which means the distance can go without recharging is 25 kilometers which is a lot and which is not true and it never was see if I drive fast like uh, 25 30 kilometers per hour the battery the battery here this battery will die within seven kilometers seven not 25 this is Chinese seven 7 and 25 is quite different mileage. All right, the longest trip I took on this skateboard was 11 kilometers. I was driving along the beach, I was making this video, like driving very slowly and still the battery died after just 11 kilometers. Next thing which is not entirely true about this skateboard is maximum speed. Uh, the company claims it can go up to 40 kilometers per hour, but no way it can go so fast. It never could, probably it can go so fast only if I only if I launch it down to the slope like this. Hey, stop, stop, stop. So just uh, don't get me wrong here because, you know, actually 30 kilometers per hour is more than enough speed for a skateboard. I mean, if you go faster on this kind of thing, driving on the road, it can be, can be really dangerous. You just don't have enough control over it. So 25 kilometers is more than enough. So that concludes things what I don't like about uh, using this skateboard. And as you can notice, the biggest problem for me personally is the battery life. And the rest, the rest is just fine. All right, now just to be fair, I need to show you a few things what I like about using the skateboard, right? And the first thing, I think I wanna show you brakes. I like brakes, brakes are great on this skateboard. I'm going to go on this slope from here to, to right there. Let's check if I, can, if I can stop. I hope I can stop. All right, here we go. Far so good. Uh -huh. Still going down. It's a little bit too fast. And I can I can just stop easily. Seriously, brakes are great. All right, another cool feature what I like about this skateboard, it's ability to overcome some small uh, obstacles along the way, like uh, small stones, relatively small stones, uh, some branches, some rubbish, sometimes the road itself is damaged. So this skateboard does pretty good job about driving over all of those obstacles without kicking me off it. All right, the last thing what I wanna say today, it's um, 
Uh, one question I, I used to get in my YouTube and Instagram, people used to ask me about uh, do I have any problems with the delay of signal between the remote and the skateboard itself? Some guys told me that uh, when they pull the brakes or accelerator, uh, it takes one or two seconds till uh, skateboard will actually do something like start going further or, or stop. Uh, the answer is not, I don't have this kind of problems. If you guys have these problems, you definitely should ask uh, the company you bought it from to, to fix this or just send you a new skateboard because if you cannot rely on your brakes, that's pretty bad. In conclusion, I want to share my personal thoughts about whether or not you should buy this uh, TMG 5H blade. Yeah, this skateboard in 2022. I think I think it's a pretty good deal. I mean, four or five hundred dollars, still don't remember the price. It's pretty good money when it comes to buying an electrical skateboard. Uh, sometimes I know that price can go up to like fifteen hundred dollars and this one is just no more than five hundred, okay? And in my personal experience, I've driven two thousand kilometers. Yes, it broke once but was fixed pretty fast and for free. So for me, it's, it's kind of pretty good deal and pretty successful deal. I hope you like the video guys and if you like it, bye.